Hey, Colton, right in the middle here. Um, so obviously your blue line is banged up uh, and you've got some young bodies in there. I, I wonder as a group if that, you know, in some ways just everybody tightens up a little bit more and as a group how you, how you make sure on a night like tonight. Yeah, I think you have to, you know, make it simple for them uh, as best you can by, you know, bringing, you know, all three forwards coming back, giving them options on, on breakouts and, you know, playing as a tight uh, five-man unit will kind of make it easier and not uh, put too much pressure on, you know, guys that either don't have a lot of experience or, you know, like Nemo was playing his first game. I know you're new to the organization, but as you look around and you get to know some of these young D-men that you've been playing with for a few months here, but also you see the pipeline coming up, uh, what are you seeing from, you know, the, the caliber of defenseman that you have available to you and, and what the organization has? Yeah, I mean, I think you saw in, in preseason, and now you see with guys like Broberg and these these kids, you know, there's highly skilled, highly uh, effective players that, you know, for how young they are, they, you know, they play, you know, above their years already. So, you know, that's obviously exciting. You know, you can never have too much depth in an organization at, at any position when you see it on the blue line with some, you know, some of these young kids that look, you know, very, very calm and very mature for, uh, for their age. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's exciting to see. Colton, you played a lot of years in the NHL uh, against Crosby. Then you got to be his teammate last year. What, what's the appreciation appreciation level how different was it for you once you see a guy day to day and uh, were you able to glean anything of what his tendencies are that could help you check him tonight yeah I mean I think yeah you, when you see guys from a distance you see them a couple times a year you know they're they're elite players when they're elite players when you see them on a daily basis you kind of pick up what makes them elite it's, you know you see it here with some of the some of the players here as well um, as far as picking up habits I think that those elite players I don't think you ever really pick up habits on how to slow them down it's kind of Try to limit the best you can, but you know that that caliber of player, like you see with you know the McDavid's and the and the Crosby's and, and those kind of guys, you don't you don't necessarily stop them by figuring out their tendencies because they can play the game so many different ways. You, you know you know when they're elite, you got to be uh, hard on them and kind of limit their base the best you can. What about their head coach Mike Sullivan? He, he seems to be able to get a lot. Uh, that team's been ravaged by injuries for the last few seasons. COVID this year. What about their system that you played in last year that makes them hard to play against? Yeah, I think that their system's pretty simple as far as X's and O's, but you know, he demands hard work. He demands everyone to come in and play to a to a certain level. And I think when you have uh, when you have that kind of style and that kind of uh, system, you know, you can plug guys in as as needed and uh, when needed, I guess, and and kind of have some success. And I think they've been, uh, you know, they've been able to do that in, in years past and, and so far this year as well. And can you put your finger on? the early game struggles for your team. Uh, you guys have been great coming from behind, and when you do score first, you're undefeated. But you've only scored first in, in eight of 20 games. So do you need a better start collectively from your team? And if so, how do you go about having that happen? I mean, obviously, I think there's some, there are some games you look back on that the, the start could have been better. I think there's other games where we had good starts and just weren't able to capitalize, and the other team did. I think it's been kind of a, a combination. Obviously, uh, you don't want to make a habit of that through an 82-game season constantly playing down one. but at the same time, when you have the confidence that when it happens, you kind of just shrug it off and you know you're going to go get the next one and get back to even. It's also a, a good feeling to have that kind of confidence in the room. So, obviously, I'd like to get the first one more times than not, but I think as a group, we're confident that we can win games even if we don't.